Hello YouTube, and welcome to this week's episode of Brainstorm, where we give you a glimpse into the world of science. Our top story comes from the world of medicine. Researchers in Australia have tested a new and effective antibiotic from an unlikely source. Most vertebrates have sophisticated and adaptive immune systems that, like most medication, target specific weaknesses in a bacteria. But more primitive creatures have innate immune systems that rely on simple chemistry to fight disease. However, animals with strong innate immune systems are very distantly related, meaning their compounds could be toxic. So the researchers turned to marsupials. Wallabies are born very early on and rely on an innate immune system. An extremely potent compound was reverse engineered from five genes used in the wallaby's innate immune system, showing effectiveness against six out of seven highly resistant bacteria. Now we turn to environmental research. Chemists at Northwestern University have developed an all-natural material for carbon dioxide capture. The metal organic frameworks are made from salts, sugars, and other natural materials, and can effectively store CO2. Sourcing the materials from mostly plant products is important to making the carbon capture process more effective, because carbon is already used to make the materials. When the crystal nanostructures are in a basic environment, CO2 in the air binds to it in a reversible reaction and a pH indicator is used to detect when the moth is fully reacted. This development is an important breakthrough in cheap, effective carbon capture technology. And from the field of material science, researchers in Spain have designed a magnetic cloak or anti-magnet. So far, it's only been demonstrated with computer models, but would protect an object from magnetic fields while keeping any internal fields from escaping. The innermost layer is a superconductive material to trap magnetic fields in the cloak. Next is the challenging part. Several outer layers of metamaterials with varying degrees of magnetic permeability. One application for this technology is medical implants, allowing people with them to have MRI scans. Another interesting application is protecting ships from magnetically triggered sea mines, and they hope labs will begin constructing these anti-magnets soon. We end with a quick update from the world of technology. Nissan is working with a team in Switzerland to develop a car that predicts the driver's move. It would measure a driver's brain activity and track eye movement, in addition to scanning the surroundings. Using this data to anticipate the next move and preparing the car for it, the hope is to have a prototype in about four years. Well, hope you enjoyed this episode. If you did, please consider subscribing and be sure to check the links in the video description.